I guess just to start off, uh, do you find children to be as terrorizing as they are in this film? That... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they certainly can be, but they can also be sweet and loving and, yeah, especially when they want something. What are the best ways to keep kids in line, theoretically? Dangle the carrot. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is they want, that's usually one of my go-to moves. Yeah, negotiations. What about yours, negotiations? Negotiations, yeah. But it's tough when they're little, because, um, I mean, they're so adorable, you know, babies, like, forget it. They just, I'm such a mush. But um, toddlers are tough, because mm -hmm. it's sort of like, they're like, can't. It's like they're really drunk, and they, but they can't speak English, you know? It's a very irrational behavior you're trying to deal with. As parents, is there anything Pete and Ellie did that you were like, no, don't, don't do that, stop? Uh... When they went after the, the guy at the school and then beat him up and... Yeah, but they deserved it. I mean, they ran out of the car though and they left the kids in the car. That was That bad. was a big fail. That was your fault. Mm -hmm. that I had already gotten out fail. and you were supposed to stay in the car and you came running out anyway and interfering with daddy duty stuff. So that was your fault. Oh, that's my bad? Yeah. But you didn't say, what okay. about the kids? You can repent about that. <laughs> Well, because I was already in the heat of the moment. Oh, were you? Yeah, I was fighting that, <laughs> that gang of redheaded kids. Yeah, because he was really scary, that kid. Yeah, he probably yeah. had a gun, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Trying to protect you. America. So he left the kids in the car. Mm -hmm. You didn't say anything. Killed. You didn't say anything. Is this how it was like on set, just constant, constant yeah. bickering? We didn't she's talk just talking about how she's soft, soft and mushy. I just wouldn't and talk. I, I didn't, we didn't <laughs> the talk. The second the cameras are off, it's yeah, over. Yeah, we didn't talk. We didn't talk. <laughs> You've both done a lot of sort of family sort of comedies. What is it about this sort of heartwarming genre that, that appeals to you? Why do you? Well, this was such a no-brainer. I mean, I, I would have been nervous to do this without Sean, to be honest, because mm -hmm. it's his story and inspired by him, so it was so authentic. And it was about just not kind of screwing it up too much. <laughs> <laughs> what about for you, Mark? What do you, um, you like Yeah, I like to mix it up. I want to be able to make movies that, especially these movies don't come around that often, where you have a movie that's wildly entertaining for both children and adults, but also has such an important message. Um, you know, I like to mix it up. After this, it was like, I was excited to kind of go back and do something different, but... What's it like when your own family sees you as a dad on screen? Is that is that strange or surreal? Or? Um, no, they enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. They enjoyed it. Yeah, they're actually all excited to go back to the movie uh, in a week and a half, two weeks. So 